attack some meat snacks today on today's project. I've got my new toy, uh, the meat, the made in meat jerky gun. And it's basically just a cock, a cock gun that uh, you load the, the aluminum cylinder with uh, lean ground meat of your choice. Uh, we're just going to do a little un unboxing here. Shout out Made in Meat. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this toy. Uh, it comes with the gun, the cylinder. And the cylinder is 100% uh, aluminum. Made for easy cleaning. Really nice looking gun here. It comes with two different tips. You got your little standard sausage style uh, tip. Along with your little flat ones. Really neat design here. I can't wait to get started on this project. I mean, I'm gonna have a lot of fun on this thing And it comes with a brush to clean it out really really good. So uh, This book that it comes with comes with uh, lots of tips and tricks on on how to use uh, the jerky gun uh, Lots of good information but today, guys, on the kit that we're going to use, it's from PS Seasoning, and it's a jerky kit, and we're going to go with the cracked pepper and garlic. It's the same kit that you guys saw me use on that beef jerky that I made that came out absolutely fantastic. Uh, it, again, it comes with uh, one pack of seasoning and one pack of cure. Uh, you can't mess this up. All you got to do is add uh, the half a cup of water. Mix it and uh, go to town on this stuff. So uh, this this is a fantastic tasting kit. Very delicious. I'm very excited to try it on this batch of meat sticks. Um, now for the protein, I just went to my local HEB, found the leanest ground beef that I could find. Uh, it was like 93% um, lean. And now I'm just adding the, the the mixture to the protein. And it's just beef, guys. It's just ground beef. But I just wanted to kind of practice the motions. Because in future videos, I will be uh, incorporating my uh, meat grinder for projects like this. And this is what it looks like, guys. You just mix it up until it gets really tacky. And uh, it was very cold. I had it semi-frozen. Semi in that little fridge that I had out there. But uh, yeah, so what you see me doing now is just packing that cylinder with that protein. And it smells amazing. And here's the racks, guys. This was the fun part. It's coming out nice. I, I mean, I was kind of worried about like air pockets and stuff like that, but it it's not an issue like at all. It just comes out uh, just like what you see right here there's no camera tricks or anything like that um, but uh, it was coming out nice and flowing and I got uh, several racks on this kit and just a small like tiny inch meat stick there flat but delicious man I set it up in the in the uh, in my uh, made in meat uh, dehydrator shout out meat you guys, we're going to set it at 158 degrees uh, for, I think I said it for like six and a half hours, or was it six six hours? Yeah, six hours. So we're going to set it for six hours and get it cracking. Now I'm excited to taste the product, the end product. I mean, it's my very first time playing with meat sticks. And guys, look at the color of these meat sticks. There is no special effects here. This is legit what they look like after after they came out of that machine. This is beautiful. I mean, just take a look at these meat sticks. Nice flat ones. Delicious, man. Delicious. These tasted better than that jerky, only because you could chew them easier because it was just ground beef. Um, that eye of round jerky, yeah, you got to chew it. You got to work to eat it. But, man, this stuff right here, legit, I'm telling you, very happy with the end product on these meat sticks, on these flat ones. Uh, 
Man, I'll tell you, my garage smelt like a freaking meat factory. <laughs> it smelt amazing. But guys, fantastic product. And it made me just want to go get another kit. And on this one, we're using that sweet and hot from PS Seasoning. Got it uh, mixed in there. We're just going to mix it. And I'm going to change it up a little bit on this one, guys. On this sweet and hot. I'm going to... I'm stuffing the, the meat cylinder here. But I'm going to use the other tip. I'm going to use this little sausage sticks. Because I feel like I could fit a lot more on each rack. As you can see. <laughs> it's amazing. Just look at these racks. Just packed with meat sticks, guys. It's just amazing. I've got the link in the description for the jerky gun. Go out there and get yourself one. Guys, try this product. Get yourselves a, a dehydrator if you don't have one already. Just a fantastic way to make uh, meat snacks, guys. I'm a sucker for these things. Now, for these, because they were like little sausages... I'm going to go 158 degrees, but I'm going to go like six and a half hours on this one. Only because they were a little thicker than the flat ones. I just want to make sure that they dehydrate properly. So, that's what we're going to go with. And guys, look at this finished product on these meat sticks. <laughs> these little sausage sticks, man. These little Slim Jims. Absolutely fantastic. I can't wait for my next few batches... I have so many different ideas. This was a success. Man, I'm telling you guys. Just look at that stack of meat sticks. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Um, so, we're just going to pack them away in a gallon-sized bag into the fridge. And guys, everybody was eating these up. And I was taking them, I was cutting them in half like that. I was cutting them in half, and I was just making little snack bags, just like you see. Put them in the fridge. I take a snack bag with me to work, like every other day. And uh, by the time you guys watch this video, these meat snacks will be gone. But, uh, excellent product here, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Just another day in Paris.